Welcome to the second part of the Polycom Microsoft uh, integration demonstrations. So what we have here is a CX600. The CX600 is uh, equipped with uh, the presence information so you see whether user is busy uh, or inactive or not available on the back of this phone you have uh, power over inter ethernet or when it's not available there's also a power supply delivered with this unit and this phone is locked in as David van der Berg so when I would like to make a call I first have to unlock the phone and this is uh, a pin you have to set when you will be logging in for the first time and using this phone. So in this case, press unlock and we'll type in the unlock code. So now it knows about me and that I'm logged in. So you have a menu here on the CX600. First you can get into calendaring functionality the calendar means integration with Exchange 2010 so you will be able to log into a conference straight away and to reminders and agenda items it will be available on this phone as a directly as a direct entry so no need to press any numbers just go into the conference you have contacts well under contacts you can find the contacts that are available in this case we have a couple of contacts available there so then we have another item and that is the call log to see whether you make the calls to the different systems of course we have voicemail and that will also need the exchange 2010 integration and you have a dial pad so you can always like dial and search specific numbers so for example if I type in 2 you will see it will give me a list of users that are on this system to make a call so that's very easy and common as you used to with regular phones so when for example I go to contacts and let's say I would like to make a call to Marijn let's see if Marijn is available here you see the information he is voice only so that means he is available on his CX phone so let's make a call to Marijn so you will hear it sounding and on the other hand we will see here David popping up at Marijn's phone so we will be picking that phone up so now we are here in a phone call with David van der Berg and Marijn they are connected together through the CX phone you see that the presence item is busy now on this phone and on David's phone so the next step with my phone will be adding another participant so what I can do is I have a couple of options on the menu add participant and just follow the menu and you can say okay call Jan so now the system will automatically change the point-to-point -point call to a conference call and you can already hear on Jan's phone completely to the left that David van der Berg is calling Jan. So we'll be we'll be picking this up. And now again you see that Jan Soetermelk is also busy. So now we have a conference call between me, David and Marijn. So we have three phones in a conference call which can shout to each other. Let me for example Unmute this one. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. So you can hear me echoing on the other phones. So let's say I want to add Andy Miller. Andy Miller has the CX3000 on his desk and we also need to involve him to do an escalation. So now I will go to my CX600 and go to menu and go to add participant and I'm not going to do it by name. This time I will call Andy Miller on his phone number. So you can just type his phone number and say add you can hear and the Miller phone ringing also that David is calling so I say answering the phone so now Andy Miller is in a call with David Marijn and Jan Zoetemerk and also on David's phone you will see also the other participants so when we are in a conference call you have also other options so besides add participants you can also close the whole participants so you just see the participants including you but you see no names there but also you can view the details by do view roster also if you say mute audience you can mute everybody except myself enable announcements is also handy so we can trigger all phones that are in the announcement list to make an announcement to people who have all have the CX phones for example could be maybe a fire alert or somebody uh, needs to announce something to specific specific groups that can be done by enabling announcements so when we are finished setting the call, we just would say we end the call by typing end call. And we can say OK, close. Thank you. This was the second session which shows the integration between Polycom and Microsoft. Thank you for listening and hope you will listen to the third session.